Here's one of the biggest mistakes that I've been doing when it comes to comparing or evaluating headphones coming up. If you're anything like me, then you enjoy listening to music. When you get like a new pair of headphones, you try that gear out, you really push it to the limit with the songs that you are extremely familiar with. That's not the best way to evaluate the performance or studio grade monitoring system. When you're using a finished product, a really good mix and a really good master, essentially what you're listening to is music that's been really well tuned. It's really balanced, it's polished, all the mistakes were taken out, removed, fixed, mixed. You're listening to the best possible finish production and compare different products or try to imagine it like that you have like a signal that's really really nicely balanced and when you put on different headphones that will have different signatures or frequency response the perfectly balanced mix will fit to the frequency response so if the pair of headphones would have more bass you would hear that as in you know this mix is a little bit more bassy with this pair of headphones. So basically you can compare the tonality of different headphones. You can, you know, evaluate the technical properties of headphones by listening to a finished, produced, really good mix that you are familiar with. But what you don't really see is how well pair A or pair B of the headphones will translate your mix between devices. Listen closely, if you have like a mix of whatever, I don't know, Dua Lipa or whatever, if you take that mix and you listen to it on a studio grade headphones, you're gonna hear it really well, really balanced. Then you can take, you know, like a cell phone and yeah, obviously the mix will have a lack of the low end, but it's still gonna be compact and it's still gonna work. You're still gonna hear, well, everything. And that is because the mixer did his or her job. It was mixed properly and it was mastered properly. So obviously it will translate to whatever device, it will translate to any studio headphones as well. So what you're then, you know, comparing and hearing are just tonal, tonal differences between those. But you don't hear if the pair that you're, the, the different pairs, the different headphones that you have uh, at your disposal, which one of those will actually translate your mix. Because what happens is that your mix is raw. It's not perfectly balanced. It's likely that you don't have the budget and the equipment and the knowledge to even push it to the level of the productions that you usually use in comparing different headphones. So what ends up happening is that your rough mix or any other basically rough mix will have mistakes. There will be things in the mix that are not perfect, that are not balanced, that shouldn't be there or, or are completely missing. Now here's the funny part. If you have a headphone that has a frequency response, a tonal balance that really helps your raw mix shine, well then it's not gonna translate because all the mistakes that are there are just gonna be fixed by the headphones and not by you as the mixing engineer. Which means that when you move from your headphones to a car or to a friend or to a, you know, a concert hall and play that back, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be either boomy or it's gonna lack something. It's gonna be sibilant. It's just not gonna translate. All right, so if you have this situation when you're comparing studio gear with the best productions, you're limiting yourself of a chance of picking up which of the pairs of the monitoring system will actually translate your mix, will actually reveal what is wrong in your mix. And for that reason, whenever I'm comparing studio gear, it's extremely important to actually take a mix with mistakes and then figure out which pair shows those mistakes correctly. And once you fix those mistakes on the reference pair, are those mistakes actually gone on any other pair in any other situation? If they are, you got yourself a winning 
prepare for you for mixing and mastering. Always use a mix with mistakes because otherwise you will not know if the mistakes uh, you know, transfer from one system to another. And if you're listening to final productions, you know, a million dollar productions, well, obviously they were fixed and, and tweaked in a way to sound great everywhere. You know, a few years back, I started to listen more and more raw mixes and noticed that uh, mistakes are very, very obvious in this pair of headphones and with the S4X as well. And those mistakes are heard on any other system. So here we go. That's, that's basically all I wanted to share with you today. Uh, it's a Saturday, it's a beautiful Saturday. Uh, we have a lovely uh, weather outside, sunny day. I got a prototype, basically, that's a product unit uh, over here. Visually, it's the same as the S5X. Um, there's something uh, cool inside. Uh, and as I was, you know, just listening uh, again to, produ uh, to produce music and then going back to, to uh, raw mixes, I realized that there's a massive difference and the outcome of comparison, the results or my impressions of any of our headphones or any of the competitors' headphones are very different when I base my impressions on produced finished songs and are very different when I base those uh, conclusions, impressions on a Romix. Personally, I am a drummer, uh, which maybe gives me a little bit more insight into how drums work and how they should sound. But nevertheless, I do think that drums, so soloing out drums, really give you an insight on how the mix will translate. Paired with a bass, you're really gonna spot those uh, low mid boosts and cuts and, and anything funny going on. Instrument separation between a kick and the bass, for example. That, if you can pick it up, in a headphone like that, the problem will translate. And you cannot pick that up and you can't really know which of the headphones will reveal that to you if you're using a polished mix, which will obviously sound great on anything. Thank you for joining me uh, today. And I hope you're, you'll stay safe and sound and enjoy, enjoy uh, the early summer days, I guess. Bye.